Welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. It looks like an election worker, a Democrat election worker in Maricopa County was arrested recently uh, for stealing sensitive items for this upcoming election in November. Of course, Democrats are already uh, getting a head start in order to hopefully tilt the scales in their favor in this uh, upcoming election. This Democrat of course, uh, decided to go ahead and steal some very sensitive materials where it would have impacted the tabulation counting in this upcoming election. Again, very concerning that this is still uh, happening, especially in places like Maricopa County, Arizona. Let's go ahead and take a look at the story coming to us from the Gateway Pundit. It says, temporary worker for Maricopa County elections arrested for stealing security fob and, key, and keys from the MCT EC tabulation center. That's right where they will uh, do the counting, right? On Thursday morning, a temporary election worker, Walter Ringfield, allegedly went into the Maricopa County Tabulation and Election Center and stole a security fob and keys. The theft was discovered when election workers conducted a daily inventory. Surveillance footage appears to show Ringfield taking items from a desk around 5 p.m. on Thursday evening. Ringfield was seen on surveillance camera footage taking the missing item from the desk around 5 p.m. on Thursday, according to court documents. On the desk, there was a red scrunchy wrist lanyard with a security fob and keys attached. The probable cause statement for Ringfield's arrest says, Walter stops at the desk, grabs the lanyard with the security fob, and continues to walk. Walter then puts the security fob and lanyard into his right pocket of his shorts. Detectives searched, served the search warrant for Ringfield Ringfield's Phoenix home Friday and found the security fob inside the bedroom dresser and the wrist lanyard in his car, according to the arrest report. The probable cause statement said that Walter stated the reason for taking the fob was because he wanted to clean up. I'm sure he did. I'm sure he wanted to clean up for sure. Election workers are in the process of programming the tabulators and reconducting uh, logic and accuracy testing. And of course, uh, this is coming onto the heels, of course, with everything happening in Arizona right now. Um, so this is, uh, as Carrie Lake says, this is just one of many discoveries we've made about the Maricopa County smoke and mirrors approach to running our elections. More to come um, as they continue to show you what is happening there in Arizona. Of course, in the 2020 election in another swing state, Pennsylvania, Philadelphia election workers warehouses were broken into. A laptop encrypted USBs were stolen from the election security software employee. A spokesman was quick to say that the devices did not hold any sensitive data relate, related to elections. Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. But, of course, with this uh, recent development here in Arizona, with this Democrat being arrested for stealing a key fob with keys and having access to the tabulation uh, machines that would be calculating vote tallies, this is why I think we should probably even move away from these types of uh, um, methods, because if they can be programmed to count certain uh, ballots for certain weights, it, it, it really would tilt the scales in one direction or the other. And of course, uh, this should be national news. This should be all over the place talking about. But since it was a Democrat uh, doing what Democrats like to do best, steal, right, and influence elections, I doubt anybody will talk about it, except for you. I know you guys will talk about it, and you guys will share this video out as far as you're able to. So uh, don't forget to follow me over on Twitter and all the other places. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Have a great, great day.